This video on the WTT12 Power Prox. Um, this is the analog version. They come in different um, measurement lengths. You can get 1.4 the 1.6. Um, I think this right here is the 1.6 or 1.8 meter version. Um, so what I'm going to do is just show how to teach it straight out of the box. It comes with the when you use your analog, it's going to come out out of the box for, set up for 4 to 20. Um, the 4 milliamps is going to be set at the minimum distance and the 20 milliamps will be at the maximum distance at the sensor range. But if you want to make um, custom measurements like this one I've already set from uh, 100 millimeters to 400 millimeters. Um, so let's see if I put it up to around 100 millimeters and then I come back to around 400 and then 260 um, so pretty accurate so what we're going to do is going to change it on the sensor and then we'll have to change the scaling in the PLC so what I'm going to do is change this from 200 to 400 so I'll leave the, the high scale side of it the same and I'll just um, change the bottom but I'll have to teach both points so first what we'll do is you'll see there's an analog button on the top um, we'll put it at the 200 millimeter range what we want we'll hold that button for three seconds until it starts to flash. So once it flashes, it's taught the first set point, the low end. Then we'll bring it to the 400 and I'll teach it there as well. And I'll just hold it for three seconds again. And the light goes off. But you see now, my scaling is messed up. Um, so since I taught that at the 200 millimeter range, now it's going crazy because of my lower scales not correct so all i'll do is come to my plc program and i'll come here to my lower scale and i'll change that to 200 because that's my teach point and i'll come back to the plc and now it's set for 200 to 400 and then say 270 but um, if you wanted to adjust the, the thresholds or the scaling that's how you would do it with the analog version of the WTT12